here. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. So, and as I have mentioned before, today we are talking about noun, yeah, the first part of speech, uh, one of the main parts of speech that denotes all the subjects, objects, people, places, and ideas. And nouns uh, have different categories. First of all, uh, we may say that all nouns are common and proper. Common, say, is a highly nazwa and proper vlasny nazwa. So, like in Ukrainian, proper vlasny nazwa. When we talk about our names, yeah, again, Ulyana, Tanya, then names of the countries, uh, Ukraine, yeah, Ukraine, Germany, and others. So uh, also names or uh, titles of the book uh, and different things. So like last name, um, names that we cannot change. Yeah? And then common uh, that's actually the things uh, which are in common. Yeah, everything that we can see, everything that we can um, like not do, we can see, hear, and perceive. Spaymate. And these common nouns are divided into two big categories, abstract and concrete. Abstract, abstract, nipunyate, something that we can perceive with our brain, yeah, but we cannot feel it, we cannot uh, see this. Uh, for example, fear, love, um, actually, what else, time, yeah, experience, and others. And concrete, the things that we can see, touch, yeah, uh, feel, hear, and others. Uh, for example, table, um, bottle, yeah, uh, and others. Um, then we move to other categories. All nouns can be counted or cannot be counted. So counted means uh, so count, yeah, uh, in this case, we can say like, uh, when you see the objects here, you say one, two, three. So it means you can count them. Uh, thus, you have singular and plural. Singular, say odmenam, when the object is only one, and plural, when there are two or more objects. Here you have the pictures. I hope they can help you to understand the information better. And other category is uncountable noun, yeah? And uh, as you can understand, those nouns that we cannot count, yeah? We can, for example, when we talk about, um, again, love or enthusiasm, it's impossible to count. Or when you say water, yeah? Again, it's impossible to say two waters or five. You usually count the bottles, glasses, or liters, like you measure, yeah, but you don't count this. And there is really interesting, I have used a picture of money here, because money is also uncount, uh, uncountable now. Um, in our mind, we think that we can count money, yeah, like, uh, yeah, but in fact, we do not count money as one, two, three, we count yeah, the number, the value of money, like 10, 5, 100, and others. That's why remember that money is always uncountable now. But again, we will talk in details about these things. And the last category is uh, partitives, um, like Slovacha uh, They will be used with uncountable nouns. And other additional category is collective, zbirni. For example, audience, team, crowd, uh, class, and others. Uh, yeah, so uh, don't forget that after this class, we will have uh, some extra minutes yet yeah, to discuss your questions, uh, but don't forget to write down those questions, okay? But if uh, you cannot understand yeah, anything mm, at this moment, you may just write in the chat and I will just look at the chat, yeah, and try to follow your questions and answer them. So, and we move next. So, next subtopic is gender of the noun. Gender means read. In Ukrainian, we have the same uh, category uh, as uh, feminine. Um, uh, so, Okay, we have female, male, yes, and neutral, or feminine, masculine, uh, if to follow Latin um, expressions. 
And here I have prepared for you the list of words uh, which denote uh, two genders, uh, feminine and uh, masculine. The first column is about feminine, yeah. <laughs> And the second one about masculine. Uh, there are some there are some simple words, and you I'm sure know the translation. But some of them we are going to translate. And uh, I will start with translating the pairs. Yeah. So if you need, you may write down the translation. Uh, you may make some screenshots. But you could see that I have already uh, sent you this presentation. So. Girl, boy, дівчина, хлопець, жінка, чоловік, мадам, містер, так або сер, матір, батько, сестра, брат, дружина, чоловік, донька, син, міс, nephew, племінниця, племінник, тітка, дядько, spinster, це як стара діва, and bachelor, холостяк, people who are not married yeah, for a long time, bright, наречена, groom, наречений, Nan monk, це є монах, монахиня, перепрошую, і монах. Goddess, god, богиня, бог. Witch, відьма, witcher, wizard, так, відьмак. Maybe there are some of you who saw the series, yeah, witcher. Then, королева, король, принцеса, принц, герцогиня, герцог. Then, графиня, граф. Countess, yeah, Count or Earl. Empress, Emperor, the Imperatrix, Imperator. Heiress, heir. Spadkojemets, spadkoje, spadkojemets, spadkojemets. Then heroine, hero, heroine, heroi. Next ones are easy. Yeah, actress, actor. Officiant, officiant. Uh, hostess and host, um, so like two meanings. Host could be veduce, like TV presenter, and usually host is the who prime hostess, like at home or again at the studio or other places. And sometimes, actually earlier, uh, hostess and host were called people who owned hotels or hostels. Uh, mistress and master. Yeah, it's like vlasnitsa, vlasnik, just to hazaika, hazayin, lady, gentleman. That's actually understandable, yeah. Widow, widower, vdova, divets. And as I have mentioned before, yeah, today's class is connected not only with grammar, but, but with vocabulary. Maybe for some of you, there are new words and you have to learn them. Then we move to uh, neutral, like Saradni Rit. So there are some nouns uh, denoting people, but if you don't know their sex, their gender, you will use pronoun it. For example, when you look yeah, at first time at baby and you don't know whether it is he or she, you'll say baby and in context, then later you will say it. It likes, it cries, and like something like that. The same situation with child, infant, detena, teenager, talk, cousin, yeah, dvoyurny brat, abo sestra, parent, somebody of your parents, yeah, mother or father, spouse, wife or husband. For example, mm, never argue with your spouse. It's like in, in general, yeah, never argue with your wife or husband. And relative, rodich. And again, when you talk about relatives, it could be uncle, aunt, grandmother, grandfather. So it depends on the context. But if you, according to the context, you know the sex, yeah, the gender. So of, of course you will use he or she. Then uh, here you have the gender of different animals. <laughs> and again, on the left, you can see feminine. On the right, you can see masculine. And you have pictures. <laughs> uh, they, uh, need, they have to help you with translation. Yeah, cow, bull, hen, rooster, cock, eve, ram, mare, stallion, uh, bitch, dog, duck, drake, goose, gander, lioness, lion, Tigress, tiger, vixen, fox, sow, boar, doe, buck. 
and don't be afraid of new words. Of course, you can use the word horse, yeah, instead of mare or stallion. But of course, in some articles or in the text, you will see these other words which denote different genders. Uh, the same uh, with the word deer, Olin. Yeah, but now you know like more than one word, you know, doe and bark and others. So I don't stop on the translation, yeah, because you can uh, see the pictures and everything is understandable here. Okay. Um, before we move to another subcategory, you have to remember that um, also ships and countries, sometimes cars, but actually, yeah, ships, uh, ships and uh, countries will um, also be uh, feminine. Yeah, so it's like uh, uh, female gender, uh, but you use this. Uh, word she only when you talk about the sheep with respect uh, in some maybe historical um, texts yeah something like that um, then okay as we have mentioned before all nouns are divided into countable and uncountable and uh, i would like to start with uncountable nouns <laughs> So those which uh, cannot be counted, and there are uh, different game categories that can help you to understand uh, which words cannot be counted. It's easy to analyze the words. Analysis will always help you to uh, like to feel this difference. But okay, so let's look at the categories. So first of all, it's gases has it like oxygen a carbon dioxide yeah it's when you talk about energy for example power electricity that's always some abstract concepts yeah abstract nouns time information money experience the things that you cannot uh yeah see but you can like have only abstract uh, idea of them then solids something which is hard, like cheese, wood, bread, butter, grains, zarna, yeah. uh, flour, sugar, corn, cereal, wheat, liquids, ridene, oil, water, soda, petrol, juice, wine, beer, milk, and of course, weather, some natural phenomena, rain, hail, snow, wind, sunshine, and fog. And you have to remember when you use uncountable nouns in questions or in other sentences, or actually is here we have the question, you will always use the word how much, yeah, how much water have you got, or how much time do you need, um, how much cheese uh, would you like to eat, or something like that. And um, Instead of how much, you can use other words with uncountable nouns, only uncountable nouns. Here, is a, here uh, yeah, they are little, trishka. It's like trishka i nedostatno. For example, when you say, um, I cannot bake a cake because I have little milk. Ta? Ja ne možu спекти так якийсь пік так тестечко тому що у мене мало молока it means мало і недостатньо when you say a little це означає як не, не те щоб мало а трішки тобто не багато але достатньо оце ви додали артикль і його ніби стало більше так тобто за рахунок артикля воно побільшало і в кількості so it's like i have an um, Okay, um, let's say, let it be. I have a little milk or little uh, milk uh, yeah, left in the fridge, so we may bake a cake. A lot or lots of. Багато. Mm -hmm. So much. Дуже багато. Yeah. And another word, a lot. Too much. За багато. When you don't need so much, yeah? So too much. Okay. Um, since we cannot count uncountable nouns, uh, 
we will use partitives, slova chastke. They will help you to express the, quant um, the quantity. Так вони нам допоможуть uh, сказати про цю кількість. And again, you have the pictures like a loaf of bread, buchanka, teapot, tak chainichok, bowl, miska, a glass of sklanka, kilo, yeah, tea bag, packet, carton, pachka, like a pot. Mm, it's also pot, uh, kastrulka, but here like stakanchik, something like that. Yeah, a lamp, grudka, spoon, loshka, jar, uh, banka, yeah, cup. Чашка, слайс, шматочок, тін, консервна жерстяна банка, є jar, uh, I have already translated, then bag, мішачок, can, жерстяна банка, again, but you can see the difference, yeah, can, it's usually for liquids, but tin, uh, why is it tin? Because you need this tin opener, okay? um, then a bar, плитка, packet, пачка, bottle, бутилка, mug, такий кухоль. So uh, we will um, we have one more picture, but I would like just to say that in this case, you can count uh, these partitives, yeah? You can say two loaves of bread, or there are many tea bags, or uh, two spoons of sugar, like that. And another picture have a drop of rain, yeah, krapla, bucket, bucket actually viderko. In this case, something like Viderko. Uh, maybe here is uh, not appropriate picture, but uh, in Planeta Kino or also abroad, you usually buy a bucket. <laughs> Ice cube, uh, yeah, piece of luggage. That's really interesting. When you don't know appropriate partitive, use the word a piece. Just in Kashmatok, yeah, a piece of luggage. Uh, then a drop of blood, the same krapla, bar plitka, yeah, plitka zolota here, a scoop kulka, a bar plitka myla, <laughs> a tube, then a roll, um, what else, a sheet of paper, a pinch of salt, pinch uh, a roll of toilet paper, a pair of shorts, uh, with garments we usually use the word a pair or actually the nouns which uh, like have a pair, yeah, I mean, trousers, shorts, scissors, we use this word, a pair of, then a barrel, bochka, grain, zrno, then uh, zrnyatko, jug, leg, and a piece of furniture again, because mebel, tak, chastenka mebel. All right. No. Uncountable nouns, we continue to speak about nouns. Yeah, but this time we will talk about countable nouns. Thus, they are countable. So it means we can uh, have two forms, yeah, singular and plural. Singular, as I have mentioned before, when the object is only one, and plural when there are two or more objects. And when we talk about uh, the formation of plural forms, there are rules. You know, these rules from school, when you only started learning English, you started with learning those rules. There are your first rules, I suppose. Uh, when you have regular nouns, yeah, in general, we just put the ending S. Like, again, umbrella, umbrellas, yeah, lesson, lessons. Then you have, uh, you can have a noun which ends uh, in S, yeah, SH, SH, CH, CH, X, or Z. And uh, in this situation, you will always add the ending ES. Um, sometimes you don't need this rule, you just need to um, uh, trust your inner feeling. So when you have the word bus, it's impossible to say bus. <laughs> yeah, it's of course buses. And we pronounce this uh, ending is usually is, yeah, brush, brushes, church, churches, yeah? box, boxes. Uh, with that, uh, I know the verb, yeah, buzz, but uh, Houdinia, buzz, let it be, or, or buzzing, buzz, buzzes. Um, then nouns which ends in F or FE. Uh, you need to remember that you usually. Um, change this ending 
into vas, like shelf, shelves, um, or other word, um, for example, uh, scarf, scarves. There will be more examples later. Then noun, which ends in vowel plus letter Y. Yeah, vowel say a holosna uh, zvuk. Then you have the ending S. It's like, mm -hmm, say boy, yeah, boy, boys, toy, toys. And we pronounce the sound, uh, this ending Z. The noun ends in consonant plus Y. Preholosne uh, zvuk, yeah, uh, illitera Y. Then you change the letter Y into I, E, S. Country, countries. Um, then, uh, mm -hmm. what else could it be? Butterfly, butterflies. Um, noun, which ends in vowel plus letter O. Uh, it could be, again, the word zoo. Zeus, but I suppose um, I wanted another rule for this. Let's see, power plus O. Uh, okay, Zeus. Or for example, piano, pianos. Yeah. And now, which ends in consonant plus O, uh, we have the ending ES. Okay. For example, potato, potatoes, tomato, tomatoes, like typical examples that you could learn, yeah, and you may remember them. Then, I would like to pay special uh, attention to uh, 12 nouns, uh, which always change their ending F, F, E into S. So, and there are no other alternatives and options only this ending quest. It's easier for you to learn these 12 nouns in order not to make mistakes in future. So again, you have the translation prepared, you have wife, wives, um, try to draw your attention to this ending, say in plural form, knife, knives, life, lives, yeah, leaf, leaves, thief, thieves, sheaf, sheaves, and others. Uh, usually, my students have questions with the word self and selves. So when do we use yeah, this word like uh, myself, yeah, but themselves, you have this plural selves in pronouns. Okay. And why I told you uh, to uh, learn yeah, this 12 nouns, because uh, it's also possible to Mm, add the ending s to other words like it's um, it's appropriate and it's uh, uh, okay i want to use german word uh, <laughs> okay uh, so it's allowed it's allowed to use another word s uh, here you have like but again there are some nouns uh, when you need to add only ending s, and there are more of these nouns than 12, yeah? That's why, again, you have to learn 12 nouns which have always ending s, and I really recommend you to other nouns add uh, ending uh, s, not s, yeah? It will be better for you. You will not be confused. Like belief, beliefs, brief, briefs, chap chaps, and others. But actually, here is a list yeah, of the words that uh, will, will be used only with S. Then. Uh, there is a list of nouns which are called irregular, neprawalni, tishchidudza, pozamajama pravo, tak neregularni. Uh, and again, I hope you remember them uh, from your um, previous classes, like man, man, yeah. But uh, here you have different spelling and you have different pronunciation. The first you have, you have the open sound, eh, like man, and then you have short, eh, men, yeah. Man, men, woman, women, person, people, child, children, mouse, mice, louse, lies, Goods, geese, ox, oxen, tooth, cheese, food, feet, 
Yeah, so you know this word. And there are three animals uh, which have the same uh, plural form as in singular, like fish, sheep, and deer. But um, there is one also trick here. When you talk about different sorts and types of fish, yeah, in this case, you will say fishes. Like in aquarium, there are different fishes. But when you talk only about one type, yeah, of fish. So, I mean, um, one pike, yeah, like two pike, but uh, like, I mean, when you talk about, yeah, one uh, type, so you will use only, uh, like, you will use the same form. Okay. Uh, there are lots of Greek and Latin nouns because you know that. Uh, uh, in every language, uh, there are words uh, borrowed, yeah, uh, borrowed from other languages, and uh, of course, uh, um, usually uh, there are uh, so the most popular yeah borrowed uh, words are from Greek and Latin languages. Um, here you have the list of them, and in our chat, I will share with you the translation of these words because you will need to write down a lot, yeah? So that's easier for you to get uh, a table, yeah? And uh, then learn these words from this table. Uh, the words are not difficult, in fact, but they're connected with science, usually with some um, like uh, things connected yeah, with science, because again, in these countries, those times, uh, the science was born, yeah? And uh, of course, all the terminology, um, um, was born there. Uh, also, you have to pay special attention if to talk about these words, uh, pay attention to spelling, написание, такофография, and pronunciation, uh, like criterion, criteria, yeah, or datum, data, and others. Then. When you have a countable noun, you will use the question expression, a question word, how many, скільки, yeah? So with uncountable, we had how much, and here we have how many. Uh, then, like how many apples, how many hours, yeah, uh, how many minutes, and others. Uh, and also, with countable nouns, you can use um, such determiners like few, malo, yeah, again, a few, dekilka. Uh, here you have the same situation when you have an article a, eh, it means it's more, yeah, uh, a lot, bahato, so many, tak bahato, and too many, za bahato. Like too many home assignments, tak za bahato, domashni So. And it's time to talk about confusing nouns because I hope before everything looked easy for you, everything looked familiar, and now something more complicated, <laughs> like exceptions. So singular and plural, there are nouns which can be only in singular or only in plural. Thus, you will use a singular verb like is, has, does yeah and others and plural like are have do and etc uh, singular nouns uh, they are mass nouns так що що позначає масу fluids рідини знову тверді якісь так речовини гази particles частинки чогось like sand так наприклад пісок then School subjects, all disciplines, mm, okay, maths, physics. So you may have even this engine S, yeah, maths, uh, physics, but it doesn't mean, uh, so it's plural now. This is singular. Games, like billiards, diseases, mumps, yeah, flu, uh, disease, хвороба, and natural phenomena, jakieś природні javishcha, weather. Uh, rain, uh, fog, mm, and abstract nouns, abstractni imanaka, 
uh, here we usually have, so I would like you to write down. So I will share extra information with you with all abstract nouns, but still um, I want you to remember those nouns like um, information, yeah? knowledge, um, money, yeah, then um, what else? Advice. Like um, the like most typical, but usually students make mistakes. Yeah, but you need to remember again: knowledge, information, advice, and uh, I said money. Yeah, and collecting nouns. Zbirni uh, imanike. Here we usually like say um, again: money, furniture, mably. Yeah. So then. And plural. Uh, usually, these are subjects which has which have a pair, like pair garments or pair clothes. I mean, trousers, shorts, uh, mm, socks. Uh, what else? Tights. Kolhoty. Yeah. Then pair tools. Parni uh, instrumente. Scissors. Mm, pair instruments. Uh, binoculars. And here you have extra words like arms, ashes, barracks, clothes, actually the list of them. And again, you're, so I recommend you to learn these words. Uh, and I want to draw your attention to the word clothes. Yeah. Uh, then people, uh, you know, okay, actually police. Yeah. So this is really important because these words look uh, simple but they could be tricky. Also, you have group nouns. Такі, я б не сказала збірні, а власне іменники на позначення групи людей. These nouns can be used either uh, yeah, in singular or in plural. And everything depends on the context. When you talk about uh, like one concept, yeah, uh, and when you talk like about different people in this group, like army, audience, class, club, committee, yeah, company, council, and others. Uh, let's talk, uh, let's take as an example the word, um, okay, family or team, be team. So you can say like, uh, team played fantastic, так команда зіграла фантастично, or you can say like the team, were awarded, yeah, or when you mean all the uh, team players, yeah, uh, the team were awarded with medals, um, with gold medals. It means like each participant received a gold medal. Like. And more confusing words. Uh, sometimes one noun, one word, again, can be used as singular or plural and uh, when you look at it you see like oh it's uncountable it's uh, like your first idea and that's okay but i will ask you to analyze the context always analyze the context i uh, here you have the great example with the word have so it's uncountable yeah because i'm not going to count all my hairs yeah <laughs> and thus you have a great example like she has got very long hair something as a whole yeah only one unit and then once she found two gray hairs then another word work and works here look please uh, at the example yeah i need to Mm -hmm. I'm coming back. So teaching requires lots of work. Так викладання вимагає багато роботи, and especially to check students' works, особливо перевіряти студентські роботи, роботи студентів. So when I say works, yeah, I mean papers, essays. Uh, exercises and others experience and experiences 
he has a lot of experience in traveling thanks to his various experience. Да? Він має багато досвіду у мандруванні, в подорожах завдяки його оцим різноманітним, так різним, знову ж таки, пригодам, ситуаціям, подіям, у тому досвіду, ніби так, який він здобував. But here you have like a little bit another meaning, like some life situations. Paper or papers. Office workers always need a lot of paper. Так, працівники завжди потребують багато паперу. What a boring job to print and sign papers. Як це нудно, так, друкувати і підписувати папери, якісь документи. Iron or irons. Don't touch these irons. Я праски, не торкайся. I just turned them off. Я їх лише щойно вимкнула. So the iron must be hot. Залізо, метал, гаряче, так? Окей. Oh. Okay. Uh, hope you already understood all the information <laughs> yeah, that we dealt with. Um, you, of course, you will have more examples and uh, more um, exceptions, так, більше винятків, and we are going to uh, work on this topic in details uh, on Saturday on our seminars, um, then collective nouns, збірні іменики. So, uh, we have already uh, mentioned uh, partitives, так, слова частинки, uh, which uh, help us yet to count something, but sometimes we have a group yeah, some kind of uh, yeah, a group of different items of different people, and uh, these words are called collective. Again, you had the examples like uh, a team, crowd, but why this topic is important? Uh, there are lots of words and collocations uh, which cannot be used with all the words. Uh, like, for example, there is a difference between um, a bucket of flowers, yeah, bouquet of flowers, and the difference between a bunch of flowers. When you say bouquet, yeah, it means that it's um, nicely arranged, yeah, with some um, decorative paper, for example, uh, and it's usually for wedding or some celebrations. When you say a bunch of flowers, say like vyaska, yeah, or a bunch of bananas, yeah, so a bunch of flowers. Um, it's like just different field flowers or just uh, nice flowers, but they are just tied with some, uh, uh, you know, with some ribbon and that's all. So, uh, and again, you will receive a table of different collective nouns and you have to learn them. So there will be lots of vocabulary. So that's why I don't think that today is about grammar. Uh, totally not. <laughs> it's about vocabulary as well. Yeah. Then how to form a noun. There are different suffixes that can be used to form noun. But again, I will provide you some pictures. Uh, here I want to draw your attention to another thing. Uh, when you have some compound nouns, збірні складені, так, оці складні іменники, it means they, uh, they consist of two words. And uh, in the last column, you can see how to form plural here. For example, when you have two nouns, like train station yeah, or taxi driver, so both words are nouns, you put this ending S at the end, yeah, stations, drivers. When you have noun plus adjective, pragmatic, yeah, spoonful, so the word fool is yes, an adjective, again, you put this ending S at the end or in the middle spoonfuls or spoonsful. So both are correct. Um, it could be adjective plus noun, blackberry, blackboard or whiteboard. 
and here you will have ending s but be careful blackberry you have consonant plus letter y so that's why you will need to change here ies then verb with ending ink plus noun break water break is yeah verb uh, or swimming for example and then now swimming pool say so break water swimming pools again you uh, you just put this ending s at the end then noun plus verb with ink it's possible haircut strishka skydiving again s is at the end verb plus preposition dieslovo plus primanek check in так реєстрація uh, grown up дорослий check in it's really uh, sometimes it could be confusing because you look like how is it possible yeah but you put this ending s to the preposition yeah at the end of the word check-ins grown-ups then noun plus preposition imanic plus premanic passerby uh, uh, hanger on yeah but here you have not a verb you have a noun that's why you put this ending s to the now, yeah, passers by, hangers on. Then you have preposition plus noun, primanic plus imanic, like under is a preposition, yeah, underground. Uh, and again, you put ending S to the noun, undergrounds. And uh, the last, you have noun plus preposition plus noun, <laughs> father in law. So it's, uh, you know, like, a uh, test about svakor and it's really remember it's really important to be attentive yeah and careful with this word you put ending s to the first noun to the first word fathers in law not father in laws 